go then. So, uh, are you ready for it? And I've uh, brought some condoms from home that uh, Suzanne got for Christmas. Benjamin. What? Will you bring me a hanger? A what? A hanger. I'll tell you what, I've, uh, I've got wood. What? Just saying, I've, uh, I've got wood. I've got metal ones as well. What, what sort do you want? Either one would be fine. All right. There you go. Are you afraid of me? Uh, no. No, I've, I've seen weirder things than you. Uh, have I ever told you about the, the two lads I went to school with who had big heads? Webbed fingers as well, but not related, and uh, weren't mates, but both had the same thing, which is a bit, a bit weird. Uh, yeah, I've never found out what was wrong with them. Can I ask you a personal question? As long as it's not about my head being round, because Ricky's always going on about that. He's saying I've got a round head. Well, you can admit uh, that, can't you? No, it's, it's, I'd say it's a normal sort of shape. It's just round. It is, isn't it? Yeah, but what, what, what do you mean? So is yours. Heads should be it's round. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed. It's just a normal shape. Mm-hmm. And you can talk. Look at your saggy arse. Anyway, get your knickers off. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Mm. Was that 18 hours to come before you hit New York? Oh, yeah. Brought a few books just to kill a bit of time on the journey. When I buy a new book, I always read the last page first. That way, in case I die before I finish, I know how it ends. I read a book like that once. <laughs> Not on purpose, though. It's just that all the chapters have been put in the wrong order, so it's a bit annoying. Got to chapter one before I realised. Are you finished now? Yeah, I, I bought another copy of it and read it in Lanzarote. It was alright. Good read. Listen, um, we're only staying in New York for a couple of days, aren't we? Because the place does me head in a bit. Oh, really? Yeah, it just, just stinks, doesn't it? It's a really dirty city. It's noisy. It's funny, the people who live there call it the city that never sleeps. I'm not surprised with all the noise. I couldn't agree more. Listen, I, I know you're gay in that, right? What, what is the attraction with New York for you lot? Because it is like the, the gay capital, isn't it? They, they all love it. Even that Rod Stewart song, now that Killing a Georgie, that was set in New York, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, well, that song was about a gay fellow, wasn't it, who moved to New York and ended up getting beaten up. Not a great advert for the place. You keep going there. Weird. Actually, I know why you like it. It's, cause it's, it's because it's a city that never sleeps, isn't it? You look like going out late. You sort of run your life at a different timetable to everyone else. Are you finished now? No, I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm just saying. I just don't think you should live your life like that. That's why not? Don't start getting angry. I'm oh, just... I think I'm entitled to throw a little anger your way. Especially when I'm being told how to live my life. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is your life. And that's what I'm saying. Don't be dragging me into it. What? Well, you know I'm not gay, so why did you buy me a book plug for my birthday? <laughs> not going to use it. What do you want me to do about it? I take it back, okay? I take it back. Right. Want to spend the night in a motel? No. Why not? Because you're all gay and I'm straight, that's why. Why aren't you seeing anyone? Well, you, I'm seeing Suzanne again. We only split up for a few weeks when she had that funny haircut that made her look like David like a slave. He's grown again now. She looked weird, didn't she? Well, but forget that. Anyway, don't want to share a bed with you again. Not after last time. Oh, jeez, what are we supposed to do? This is normal, mate. Pull over. All right, all right. Don't you... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. How is that pull over. Just pull over here. Fine, what's it? There's nothing. Eh? I'll get a and &D. And by that, I mean bed and breakfast. <laughs> Not bone bollocks, as you call it, right? Yeah, one thing's great. Not interested. See <laughs> ya. Well, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I do know that his brain doesn't work like other people. Oi, I, I am sat here. Don't go talking about me like I'm some sort of diff kid. Got a good brain. Works well. It stores all sorts of information and stuff, doesn't it, Tom? He, uh, remembers things, little things sometimes. 
Well, don't, don't say like that little things as if it's stuff that isn't important. Are you good with numbers? The doctor's asking you a question. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. Good with numbers. It depends. Uh, not that good at maths, but I remember facts that have got numbers in them. Like I know that uh, one person in two billion will live to be 116 or over. Right. Weird thing is a lot of them are Chinese, so, you know, sort of makes you wonder if they, they're lying. I'm afraid I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean you don't understand? It's not... All right, here's an easier one for you then. Goldfish have better memories than people think. He's right. He's right? Yeah. See? There you go. Uh, goldfish related. Oldest goldfish in the world was 41. No. Yeah. Um, funny thing is there, if it was a goldfish with a dodgy memory, it could have been older. could have been, you know, pushing 45. That's amazing. I mean, that is amazing. He should work for NASA or something like that. Well, I not go that far. You know, they're the sort of things that I like reading about, you know. I've got that big book there. Uh, it's full of... Did sort you of read all this? Yeah, do, don't... You it, read all these stories yeah, that are in this book. Don't bother touching Maybe it. Maybe you better put it back. Give it back. Get off. Okay, no, Ray, Ray, Ray take it easy. I'm not gonna... I won't touch anything else, Ray. Come on. It's okay, Ray. It's okay, come on. Can I ask you something else, Raymond? No. Well, you've annoyed me now. You've kept coming here saying saying I'm daft and that and messing with my book. Just go, will you? Excuse me. Rise! I'll call your witness. <clears throat> yeah, he's, he's just coming now. All right, Jack. Colonel. What? I'd appreciate if he would dress me as Colonel or Sir. I believe I've earned it. Defense counsel will address the witness as Colonel or Sir. All right. All right, Colonel. A bit smart today with all the uh, all the army stuff on. You ever served in an infantry unit, son? Nah. Brother did. He was uh, he was in the army. Got kicked out though, cause. Because he, uh, he went for a packet of fags in a tank. <laughs> Weird that, isn't it? No, it's not. It's tragic. Mm. I wouldn't say it's tragic. I'll show you something tragic. I always um, carry this book around with me. I always show it to people. It's got, like, uh, the top 50 weird people in the world in it, right? It's all sorts of weird stuff in it. Uh, look at this one here. It's a fella, right? He's got two heads. And the weird thing is, right, is the top 50 weird people in the world. He's at number 50, he's got two heads. Right? Makes you wonder what's going to be at number one, doesn't it? Are these really the questions that I was called here to answer? No, but look at it. Imagine if you were his mate. You wouldn't get a word in edgeways, would you? If you Maybe were... he didn't have any friends. Hmm. Probably right. They say, don't they? They say, two's company, three's a crowd. So... Please tell me that you have something more, Lieutenant. Yeah, I've got loads more. For this fella at number 36, look at him. Three legs. Little fellow with three legs, right? Guess what his job is? My answer is I don't have the first damn clue. Well, I'll tell you. He's a juggler. I beg your pardon? He's a juggler. This is ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. You're probably thinking what I'm thinking. Why wasn't he a footballer? <laughs> the great at keep you up, isn't that? Isn't he? I'll answer the question. You want answers? Yeah, it's just, it's just that I'd like to know the truth. Behind. You can't handle the truth, gentlemen. Well, I've paid for the book, so I think I'm entitled to know why. I don't did. give a damn what you think you are entitled to. You better get somewhere fast with this, Lieutenant. What about this one then? This lad here. He's 12 years old. He looks 48. What do you, what do you think? No. Why not though? You, you said you didn't want to know any more about the juggler. You didn't say you didn't want I to know what I about said. Me. I don't have to have it read back to me like All I'm... All right. Lieutenant, do you have anything further for this witness? Well, I just wanted to know if you thought Mr. Webfoot at number 42 should have took up swimming, but... Absolutely. And you'd say that now, wouldn't you? Forget it. All right. Her uh, girlfriend came in here earlier. Had a haircut. I'm not happy with it. Look at the state <laughs> of that. Well, d don't laugh. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to cause any fuss, but just, just want you to sort it out. 
afraid he can't do that. Well, you can do that because it looks a mess. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I are different. Well, well, you, you've got to do something because look at it. When she came through the front door at home, I thought Dave Hill out Slade had walked in. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. Look, we, I don't want to cause any problems or anything. She hasn't even seen it properly yet. She sort of had it cut and came straight home and didn't, didn't look at it. Suzanne, just look in that mirror. Look what they've done to your head. God damn it, what is it? <laughs> Suzanne! Yeah, no! We're not going to do anything stupid, are we? I'm the manager here. There's no problem. What do you mean it's not a problem? Look at the state of her hair. Be calm, cooperate, and this will all be over in a minute. I'm going to go home. No, we're not going anywhere until they sort your hair out. I'm, I'm not walking home with you, with your hair like that. It's, in, it's embarrassing, so... So let's just get it... You die. No, forget having it die. Just get it cut. Colour's not a problem. Just sort it out. Just get rid of... Let's see what we can do. Right. Good. Look at it. Look at the state of it. I'm trying real hard. Suzanne, just keep your head still there so you can... Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. <laughs> just sort that bit out there. Just cut that. My barber says I've got the, uh, the hair of a Chinaman. Have you, have you heard that before? <laughs> what? What's so, what's so funny about that? Is it, is it serious or what? Freaking me out. If my answers frighten you, you should cease asking scary questions. It's almost over. There you go. No, it's not. Not brilliant, but that'll have to do, won't it? I reckon we'll have to buy her a, uh, a hat on the way home. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You're late. Only, only 20 minutes. What do you mean by coming in here this time of day? Hmm? I've just, I've just been doing some Christmas shopping, haven't I? Probably do some more shopping on Monday, because... Day off, isn't it? Yes, I know it is. You don't have to tell me. Got to see what I've bought, Suzanne? No, thank you. I don't mind showing you. It's only, only Christmas present, isn't it? Just bought some more, uh, bought some more condoms. Why? Well, I bought some last year. Got two boxes. Uh, they all got used, so... I'm very glad to hear it. How much do I pay you? Why asking to the presents of mine's got nothing to do with what I earn? Like I say, if I, if I won the lottery, I wouldn't go mental on her. Do you know what I mean? I probably wouldn't even tell her because I think she'd want to travel around the world and all that, and I'm not into that, to be honest, so I'd probably keep it quiet. Why? Well, once you've been around the world, where do you go next year? <laughs> Each to their own, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, what do you want? What, what, for Christmas? Not that fussed, really. And you, it's, it's just as well I'm not that fussed, because do, do you know I do some work at, um, at XFM? You know what they're giving me for, for Christmas present? Nothing. No, might, might as well have been nothing. Um, two CDs. That's it. That's well fed up. I'm sure you will. They give you a list of about 30 albums and you get to pick two off the list. So I've gone for um, Kings of Leon album and uh, the best of Bob Marley. Mr. Marley has been dead these seven years. In fact, he died seven years ago this very day. Did he? Do you know, uh, do you know what sort of donuts Bob Marley likes? It's not my business. No, it's, it's not a proper question. It's an old Peter K joke. He likes the ones with jamming. Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Hey, where am I? What is this place? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. According to... The Lanzarote guide. We've been dropped off at the uh, at the volcano bit. 
Apparently there's 36 volcanoes here to be seen. I hope you don't mind my saying that this is a waste of time. What do you mean? Don't know why they need 36 volcanoes. Just keep one. Fill the rest in. Like a car park or something. Excuse me, guide. What's, uh, why is the, why is the bus drops us off here? What's, what's so special about this place? Well, according to our holy writings, that is where creation began. Where the Almighty breathed life in the time before time. Oh, it's amazing, that, isn't it? All this, all this has been studied here for years and years. What about the coffee shop there? Is that, is that old, is it? Well... Well, nothing. You're out to rip us off. I bet it's about four quid for a coffee there. Always ripping people off. That's, that's what annoys me with these trips. You get us in the middle of nowhere, we die in a thirst. I'm not able to do without. The reason I've come here, I believe this is where they did uh, Planet of the Apes, isn't it? Love monkeys. Especially the ones in Planet of the Apes, because they, they talk and that. Talking monkeys can't exist. You're joking, aren't you? Of course they can. Getting up to all sorts of stuff. I read about a monkey the other day who, who worked on the railway. Right, there was, uh, there was another one about a chimp that did a bank job and uh, went off to Spain to sort of... Shut up! Right. What is that? Little monkey fella. It's come from that little coffee shop. It's been serving coffee. Now that is worth paying four quid for. No, you're teasing him. I'm not teasing it. It's working, isn't it? It's serving the... T we want some coffee. Get us some coffee. I've heard about this. You can buy uh, you can buy coffee that's been that's sort of hand-picked by monkeys. It's like coffee, mate. Except it's it's more sort of coffee primate. Yeah. Hello, little fella. We want coffee. What do you mean we? You're gonna have a coffee, aren't you? What else are you gonna do? Go and look at another 35 volcanoes. I'm staying here. I'm having a monkey coffee. It's brilliant. You find this amusing? Jesus, it's a talking monkey. All right, mate. Have a couple of coffees. Don't start now. We're off duty. I'm stopping. What do you mean you're off duty? Have you been on us later? Just get us a couple of... Ah, <laughs> oh, I understand that you're tired and you've probably been on your hands all day. Just forget the coffee. You go and get some lunch. After you've got some coach, you lazy ass. You damn human! <laughs> Good evening, Clarice. All right. Just thought I'd uh, come and see you. Oh, very thoughtful. Don't mind me popping in, though, do you? It's just... Just no one else is interested in the sort of things I like talking about. People will say we're in love. Well, say what they want. Do you hear the, uh... You hear the show last week, we were talking about gay people, if they should have their own toilets or not, and stuff. That was good. Yeah, it was alright, alright. Got a good, uh, good debate going. Enjoy doing the show, it's, uh, it's a favourite part of my week, really, just talking about weird stuff and that. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. I have a lot of fun in my life. You know, come and see you, and, uh... Spend a lot of time on the internet, looking up weird stuff. Even something about an airy Chinese kid. There was another thing, there was a fella who, uh, no arms and legs. He's known as a pillar man. Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. Bizarre magazine. Yeah, I get this. The airy Chinese kid, what annoys me is he could sort it out. He could just have a shave, couldn't he? Do you know what I mean? No! He cuts. Does he? Well, use some, uh, some of like, that Emacs stuff. Hey, don't, don't be getting funny with me, just because you're in a bit of a mood, right? You know you, you shouldn't eat people. Your eyes are bigger than your belly, I've always said that, so... See you later. I hope nobody got hurt. Hey, hi. I'm very quiet. I'm just just thinking about stuff. So.
You're mad at Mr. Play, aren't you? A little bit annoyed, to be honest. Uh, went down a storm playing the drums in Little Donkey, but your loss. I'd give anything to have been there. Well, you wouldn't, because you didn't. But like I say, it's your loss, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just quiet because I'm thinking about stuff, like I said. Right? I'll make a big deal out of it. What is it? Well, I, I, I was just thinking, what would happen, right, if you put a chameleon on a mirror? How, how would it handle that? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Well, you're scaring me. That's scaring you. This'll scare you, right? The other day, so two old men sat there having a Twix. You never see that, do you? Old fella having a Twix. You see ghosts, Cole? No, just, just, just the old fellas having a Twix, boy. They, they talk to you? No. They tell you to do things? No, because they were too busy eating, but what's that got to do? What are you looking like that for? Do you, do you think I'm some sort of freak or something? Is that, is that I would never think that about well, you. Well, ever. Just, no. Got it? No. Things that have actually happened. Oh, yeah. What about you, Casper? Casper! Alright. Alright? Alright. You haven't been listening to a word I've said, have you? Yeah, I heard, uh, I heard some of it. Yeah, you've some of it? Just. Stand up! Always somebody, isn't they? <coughs> right, now you're going to tell us a story about yourself. What sort of story? I want you to think of an incident that's happened to you sometime in the past that is true and that you think will interest the rest of the class. All right? All right. Uh, uh, what about... Uh, I, work, I work on a, um, on a radio show at the weekend. Well, are you going to tell us about it? I'll just, um, just do, it's two hours, and it's, it's with Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant, and, uh, just sort of play music and, you know, tell stories and stuff. What kind of stories? Well, whatever. Like, last week it was science. We were talking about, uh, this lad who was growing, uh, a, a knob on his arm, so... <laughs> it's weird. It's tricky, sir, because, like, with Ricky, he, he gets bored quick, and... He won't listen to the stories, and he'll start squeezing my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not interested in what he does. Well, that isn't that isn't normal, is it, sir? That I mean, it sure is a bit gay. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Just messes about, though. Do you know what I mean? I try and like come up with good stuff, like monkey news and like quizzes and stuff, but. Then he'll just, you know, Ricky will just mess about. I mean, on, on Saturday he did it again, he, he, he squoze me head. How did you spell that? Squoze. S Q. Oh, okay. I was going to show it off more. It's a new word to me. Uh, squoze is S Q U O Z E. Uh, I can't tell us what it is. It's when, um, it's when he, he gets me head and he puts one hand on the back of it, right? And he puts the other hand on the front of it, and he just sort of swivels it. Swivel, right down the front. Oh, swivel's not a... It's spelled S-W-I-D... Ah. How many times a day? How many times a day does, does he swivels it? It depends what time he, you know, what time he gets in. If he gets in about half past twelve, he could get a good three in. But, but I think, you know, I don't, don't really want to talk about. Well done, you? Well done, Billy. Three hand of applause. Well, you know, I've uh, been observing you here now for the last four weeks, and I don't see any evidence of mental illness at all. Yeah, no, no, I'm not mental. I never, I never said I was. I mean, all right, I got, I got an E in history, but that isn't why I'm in here. I'm in here because I had to get away from, from the outside world. It's doing me head in. I've been working too hard. I'm stressed out. I've been working like loads of hours Monday to Friday. I've been working on a Saturday with Ricky and Steve, right? That's that's been doing me head in. People don't people think that's a laugh when it isn't. Right? You're busy right now, are you? You got something to do well, it, right now. See, this is why I'm here today, Doctor, because he's doing me head in. What do you mean, sir? Well, well, he's doing me head in. I came here to get away from Ricky, 
he is just as bad. I'm smarter than him, ain't I? No, you're, you're an idiot, right? You're just... <laughs> ah, we're just good friends. No, we're not friends. And if you were a friend, you wouldn't be doing that to me, Ed. How do you mean that? Well, don't ask... Come on, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get him out. Get him off me! Get him off! Right there. All right. Get off, dog. So will you tell him? Come here, Don't hurt you, does it? Of course it does. That's it. Now, hold on to it. Not too hard. You'll crush all the air out of it, wouldn't it? I normally do. Get off. I normally do it harder than that. No. It's warming up. Warm it up. What's going on here? All right, be there. Get off! <laughs> See what I mean, Doctor? That's, that's what he's doing every day. The state of this. I don't know why you do it, because it's not as if you're going to crack it open. But I tried, didn't I? God damn it. At least I did that. Fine. Still, uh... Still trying to write the, uh, the book, then? No? Yes. Good. Funny, someone, uh, told me the other day, weird thing about a typewriter, the top row of letters, the longest word you can write, is typewriter. I'll, I'll just show you, just... That's weird, isn't it? It's just... The typewriter being... You're not, not in the mood, are you? Just gonna, you're in one of those grouchy moods again that you get into when you're writing. I'm not being grouchy. I just want to finish my work. Yeah, it's just... She's being a bit funny, a bit off hand in that. <clears throat> Let me explain something to you. Go on. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Understand? Yeah, but I, I just was coming in to try and cheer you up, you know, if you... I mean, I, I'm full of ideas as well, you know, if you're having a problem coming up with stuff. I've got loads of stuff, loads of ideas you could write about. The other day I read about this airy Chinese kid. <clears throat> what do you want me to do about it? No, it's just that it, it could make a, a good book, do you know what I mean? Sort of following round. Uh, That's swell. Well, I, I'd buy it, you know. But if you don't want to know, won't have to, don't bother doing it, but, do you know what I mean? It's just airy Chinese kid. It's, it's weird because they're not normally that airy over there. Yeah, this kid cakes in it, but if you don't care... I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. You wouldn't have to touch any hair on his head. Like I say, he's covered. Leave the head alone if you want. Touch his hands. He's, he's totally covered in it, but... It, it, I love the little son of a bitch. Well, don't go that far. You haven't met him, but I can sort it <laughs> I'd out. I'd do anything for him. I don't think you'd expect that much. Just take him to the barbers three or four times a week. You know, he's a good, good little kid. In fact, I'll do it. I think I'll write a book on him. Yeah? How do you think you can handle that? Yeah. You're not too busy, are you? Well, I, yeah, I'm pretty busy. I've got to sort out some, uh, some monkey facts for the show this Saturday, but I, I reckon I can still... Why don't you start right now and get out of here? Alright. I will. If you're going to be like that. Couldn't borrow a pen, could I? See you later. Two, three part of all day and go. Alright. Just been, uh, just been down the valley. Say, the half where are you... What are you looking like that for? What's wrong with Bally? What's wrong with Bally? Yeah, well, what's wrong with it? It keeps you fit and that. What do you think, Aunt Inora? Think about me doing Bally. I used to go to Bally. There you go. She used to go to Bally. I used to say I could have been a professional dancer if I'd had the training. Bet you were pretty good, weren't you? Wasn't the time you, uh, wasn't the time you had wind for five minutes, was it? you well glided across Will the... Will you shut up! What's wrong with Bally, anyway? For girls. No, no, not for lads, Bally. Lads do football or... Well, 
done that, yeah. Boxing or? Did that for a couple of weeks, so... Wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, wrestling, yeah. What? Reagan. Well... Don't worry about it, anyway. Just... Is it alright if my mate Wayne stays over tonight? He just wants to sleep over. He's just coming over to... Wayne, sleep? Yeah, he just stays over. I'm not gay or anything, he's just... I don't fancy him, I'm not... Yes, you do. I don't... Yes, you bloody well do. What, just, just because I want my mate Wayne to sleep over and I've started doing ballet, that, that turns me into a gay man, does it? You haven't seen my Village People album lying around. You're asking for a hate Just joking. Just having a, just having a laugh. Just didn't mean... <sighs> Funnily enough, in here I'm going out. No, I'm now on you. Stay here, you look after your nana. Contact!